Hello and welcome to English Classes TV Shows Explained. Hello. So today we're doing The Simpsons, Series 2, Episode 11, and this is Words and Idiomatic Expressions. So the first ex first word we've got is meatloaf. What's meatloaf? Um, it's kind of food that it's made in the oven, it's roast. It's a very... Isn't it? it? Yeah, meat made of meat, of course. It's, a meat, it's, it's meat and other things. It's a very cheap dish. Instead of having meat on its own, you add other things into it to make it bigger, to make it... So it's kind of like a bit of a cheap meal. But yes, yeah, essentially meat and other things mixed together in a, in a loaf. Okay, what does open-minded mean? Open-minded is um, when you are um, uh, willing to know uh, new things and you want to yeah, have new experiences. Willing to try new things yeah. and do, yeah, have yeah. new experiences, yeah. Or you're not fixed in your mentality, you're willing to change. Hmm. Okay, cradle to grave. What does cradle to grave mean? What's cradle and what's grave? Grave is uh, your where uh, um, on the cemetery. In the cemetery, yes. Yeah, like where the tombs are. Where the it's like a tomb is another name for it, yes. Yeah. And the grave is where you where you're buried after you die when you die. Yeah. And the cradle. I don't know. Cradle is where a baby sleeps. Okay. So cradle to grave means all your life, from when you were a baby mm -hmm. until you die. So it's from cradle, cradle to grave. From cradle to grave. Yeah. Okay. Uh, playground. What's a playground? Playground is a place where kids play. Yeah, and in this case we're talking about um, at school, at the playground is where the kids kids yeah. play. Yeah, and yeah. also talking about things which are said on the playground, in the playground, or the law of the playground as well exists. Yeah. Like what, what children say, yeah, is in, in the playground. Yeah. Eel and squid, what are eel and squid? Uh, these are kind of seafood. Mm. Eel is the small one with uh, like needles all over, <laughs> isn't it? No, an eel is like a long, thin fish. Okay. It's very, it's round. Okay, yeah, it's but very you, expensive. It's the ones, it's the ones you get which can also be electric. You yeah, have eels they or? have teeth. Yeah, yeah, and, and squid? squid is um, the one with eight legs, round hair and eight legs. Isn't that an octopus? Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> A squid is similar. A squid is similar to an octopus, but it kind it's of it's long, isn't it? The head is long. Yeah, it's kind of like long and thin. It squid it shoots out ink as well. Squid okay. has ink. Yeah. Okay. To hack, to hack. He says, says it hacked. To hack is to to cut at something, but imprecisely. Okay. Yeah? So you might hack down a tree or something like that, mm -hmm. or to hack something, hack at something. Without without knowing what you're doing, you're just kind of hacking at something or removing something by hmm. by hitting it. Yeah? Blunt. I so don't know. If you're well, blunt is an interesting word because you have, for example, a knife can be sharp or blunt. Mm -hmm. So a sharp knife is a knife that cuts very well, that has a very fine edge. But then blunt is when it doesn't have a fine edge and it doesn't cut very well. But in this case, we're talking about if you're being blunt with someone, that means you're being direct. Mm -hmm. Saying what you mean directly, like Agatha might say to me, "Peter, you're an idiot," yeah, and that would be being very blunt, yeah, without saying. It would be sincere. Yeah, well, it's not necessarily sincere, but it's without. She could say like, "Oh, Peter, your your intelligence is very different, very low, or things you're like that." You're very special. You're a special boy, <laughs> Peter. She could say those things, or she could just say, "Peter, you're an idiot." Yeah, so there's a difference. Being blunt is with you know in a very direct form, you know, without, as well we say, beating around the bush, yeah? Just saying it. Okay, tons, what does tons mean? Tons, it's a lot. Yeah, tons means loads. loads, similar to loads. A ton is a unit of measurement, which is around, well, it's two tons, but it's around a thousand kilos, yeah? Mm. So tons means, colloquially, a lot of something, mm. yeah? Lift a finger, what does lift a finger mean? A lift a finger is what uh, parents do with their kids, it's like using physical violence. No, no, <laughs> no. It? That's lift a hand to somebody. Okay, you it's only a finger here. Yeah? No, so you lift a hand. You, you could say, for example, I, ne I never lifted a hand to my child, mm -hmm. meaning I never hit my child. But lift a finger, it often exists in the negative to talk about doing work. Okay, yeah, doing anything. Yeah, often housework. Mm. For example, Agatha could say to me, Peter, you never lift a finger around the house. 
yeah, and my house. We so don't I, live together. So. No, <laughs> exactly. Right. My housemates can say that. That we, um, that, that I don't do any cleaning or any cooking or anything like that. I never lift a finger. Oh. Yeah. What's taffy? It's kind of uh, sweet. Yeah. Made of sugar, very mm. caloric. Yeah. Very calorific. Fake. Calorific. It's fake and it's sticky. Yeah, it can be sticky. Yeah. It's like light brown or yeah, yellowish or something. So the Americans say taffy or inexplicably saltwater taffy, and in England we say toffee. There's a slight difference. Yeah? Hmm. To hog something. What does to hog something mean? To hide something. To hog, hog. Yeah, I know, but it's to hide. No. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> to hog something is to use something too much so that no nobody else can use it. Okay. You're hogging something. You're using it and no one else has the opportunity to use uh -huh. it because you're always using it. Okay, what is hand gliding? Hand gliding. I don't know this one. Hand gliding is it's an extreme sport. It's usually done... You go to the top of a mountain and you jump off the top of the mountain. You have, have like a, a one big wing above you, but you have no engine. And you glide down like that. But you're usually... Okay. You just have like a wing like that and you have a bar you hold on to and you move. Mm -hmm. And you can go in the thermals and climb up the thermals as well, like that. And mm -hmm. you can only do once in your life because you die, obviously. Mm, mainly, yes. <laughs> mainly die. <laughs> to haul, what does it mean to, to haul? I don't know. Haul is a bit like carry, to carry mm -hmm. something. Okay. It implies something heavy sometimes. Mm -hmm. Haul, to haul something, to carry something heavy. So they, they haul Homer into prison, mm -hmm. so they carry him into prison. Books. These are dollars, are they? Dollars, yes. An informal way of saying dollars. Hmm. Two, two dollars, two bucks. Yeah? Schmo. Schmo. What's a schmo? I don't know. Schmo is a bit like an idiot or a fool or someone who doesn't, who's not in the know. A schmo. It's like similar to schmuck. Like, like someone of not, not, who isn't very important as mm -hmm. well. You could say a schmo. He's a schmo. He doesn't know anything. Okay, Seymour Butts. This was a joke that when they phone up, when they phone up uh, Mo. At the it's it's the name of the person. Well, it's supposed to be the name of a person, but it's a joke because Seymour is the name of a person. Uh -huh. But it's also if you say Seymour something, Seymour Butts in this case, it's like um, to see more of something. Uh -huh. yeah? So they're playing a joke on on Mo. He's looking. He's wants. He thinks he's, he's asking after a person whose name is Seymour, but he's saying he wants to see more butts. It's a bit of a, a joke. There's a, quite a few of them in The Simpsons, especially in the early episodes, mm -hmm. where um, Bart phones up and plays jokes on Mo, and he always gets very angry. What's the good book? I thought it was the Bible, but I'm not sure. Yeah, exactly. It's another name for the Bible. Sometimes it's called the Good Book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And vow, to vow to do something. It's to promise to do something. Yeah, it's make a solemn promise. Mm -hmm. Like you often take vows on your on your wedding day. I vow to do this. You talk about your vows. I vow to love you for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. Yeah, things like that. Okay, that's all the words and expressions. Anything else you don't understand? Anything else you're not sure about? You can always put it in the comments section below and we can answer your answer any, answer any of your doubts. Okay, well, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.